going on, family? Sires from Night Life Kennel. What I'm gonna do today, I'm gonna go down the street from the house. That's why I got the old trusty bike. Go to the creek, check for tracks and activity near the bucket. So it's a cold front coming in, and I'm gonna cast Brandine tonight. So that would be a good lineup for her for the best chance of success of getting a good fresh coon track. So, other than that, I'll see you down at the property. All right, folks, so we made it to the property. Had to put the old baby in park, you know what I'm saying? Got that little rusty, uh, <laughs> that Debo, that Debo style. So I'm doing now, I'm walking to the creek because there's two creeks that connect to each other. There's a big one and there's a little one. All right, so where the bucket's at on the little one because it has a nice sandbar and I can really look for tracks. So hopefully when I get there, the bucket should be empty by now. The bucket should be empty because I'm not going to cast my pup on a bucket that has uh, bait in it. So... That's the plan. All right, so a couple of things I want to tell y'all before we start looking for tracks, because we're here now, is the fact that one, if you want to look for coon tracks, look near a waterway, a small creek, you know, river, whatever fits where you're at, and look on the sandbars or the little um, land piles next to it, because they're not going to be in the water you know, to hunt unless it's real shallow, okay? Um, they like to hunt on the land near the water so they can hunt and fish near there, okay? Um, two, what I like to do is I like to step, when I'm looking for tracks, I like to step in the water with my boots so I can mask my scent as much as possible. You know, they're coons, but still, I wanna protect myself as much as possible. So I step in the water and I scan for tracks so that's pretty much it see how there's that land next to the water that's where you want to look for tracks so see that see that activity roll right there see them tracks in there i know that was real distinct see that they're walking the banks, guys. They're walking the banks. See, I'm stepping in the water, masking my scent as much as possible. See right there. There's the bucket. And you can see how the sand's tattered all right here. See how the sand's tattered? Good sign, good sign that there's activity. And I'm walking this water. And look at that. You cannot tell me coons don't go there. The reason I put the bucket there, because coons like to hunt near a waterway. That's where they drink. That's where they get their food as well. So if you can knock out getting food and water in one spot, plus it's a little little hot out so you know they're gonna be here more than usual it's a win all right y'all so i'm gonna talk about my bucket got a simple five gallon bucket um the reason why i put pvc is because only certain critters can actually reach in there and get the food so that just narrows it down either way it'll be a good learning opportunity because say if it is a possum possum break them if it's coon Right, and it's real good sign that there's coon here. That'll trigger her hunting instincts um, to chase coon, and that's what I want. So, also, I'm gonna check. Yep, so. The bucket is dang near empty, close to being empty, so um, I don't want to cast my dogs uh, especially pups in the learning phase on a bucket that's full. The reason why is because I don't want them to think that the food in here uh, resembles coon. I want them to smell the coon, the bucket's empty, 
so there's nothing for them to mess with and hunt on from the bucket. But I'm not gonna cast them on the bucket. I'm gonna cast them, you know, three to 450 yards away from the bucket and have them hunt on the water. Another reason I put the bucket here, once again, it's on the water. And I want my pups to think that coon sign and coon is near the water. Now you will have the exception where they pick a wild track up in the hardwoods, but more than likely they're gonna pick up a track near a creek. So that's why I always put my buckets near creeks. Yeah.